Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if it's your first time visiting, welcome to my channel. I'm back with another video. <laughs> Thank God, because it's been a while because life be doing its thing, but I'm back. But let me get right into this video because I've had so many questions about this product slash treatment. And so I wanna answer all the questions that I can get right into it. As you know by the title, we are talking about the Olaplex chelating treatment. Yes, I looked it up, I've heard it, I've heard it from Olaplex themselves. It is the chelating treatment. And it's officially the Olaplex Broad Spectrum Chelating Treatment. That is the entire name of it. This product is for professional use only. This is what it looks like. I've gotten a lot of questions about what it is, what it does, do I need it? Why would I need it? all those things. So I'm here to answer as many questions as I can. And as you can tell by the bottle, I don't know if you can see, I've been using it. I've played with it a couple times, tested it to see what it does and how it performs and stuff like that. So I will give you my experience along with answering as many questions as I can. What I want to start with is like the definition of hair chelating. And what that is, is the removal of minerals from hard water, such as calcium and magnesium from the hair. And another form of a definition is like a deep detox for the hair and scalp to remove product residue or mineral buildup. And chelating products have ingredients to remove minerals from inside the hair shaft. These minerals over time can build up into the hair and cause the hair to become dry, brittle, and difficult to manage. So this is why you do something like a chelating treatment. And I got all my notes in front of me just to make sure I say everything I need to say. Then pegs the question, what is the difference between a clarifier and a chelating product? The main difference is, so clarifiers, first of all, it employs a high pH. It only removes resins without stripping the hair of natural moisture to a certain degree, because I know some clarifying shampoos that they, they get in there, they pretty good. And it's meant to cut through grease, oil, buildup, and surface minerals outside of the hair. Whereas chelators specifically are designed to remove heavy buildup from hard water minerals, pool water, chemicals, and hair product residue. And chelators also attach themselves to impurities to help remove it from the hair. So those are the two biggest differences. And then with chelating treatments in general, like I said before, this is something that penetrates you know, deeper into the hair shaft to remove whatever it needs to from the hair. So now chelators, as it pertains to Olaplex with using their chelating treatment, like I said before, it is a professional only product. So this is something that you would have to go into the salon to get done. According to Olaplex, what it is, is a pro only cortex deep purifying treatment that removes buildup to elevate all salon service results. And so with their chelating treatment specifically, it says it purifies the hair down to the cortex to remove product buildup, oil, hard water minerals, chlorine, heavy metals, pollutants, medications, and discoloring iron and copper deposits, all without stripping hair of its moisture and essential proteins. The powerful non-sudsing broad spectrum chelating blend with vitamin C rich kakadu plum, creates a clean slate to enhance the results of other chemical services that can be compromised by buildup like keratin treatments, color, and perms. The Olaplex bond building technology maintains the strong hair bonds during the treatment so the hair looks and feels healthier after chelation. With Olaplex's chelating treatment, you don't have to mix it with anything. So for the stylist, it makes it really easy to apply go in and do what it needs to do so you can move on to the next step. The features and benefits that they are attesting to is that it promotes vibrant color and consistent lightning results. It allows better penetration and efficacy of all chemical services. It brightens the hair and minimizes discoloration, restores shine and softness, revives body bounce and manageability, and it freshens and soothes the scalp. So all these things with reading what Olaplex has to say about it, I've actually tried myself and I've tried it in a couple different ways because to me, when it says that it, you know, essentially penetrates to the cortex and cleanses, I'm like, so if it penetrates to the cortex, I wonder how far I can get when I do certain things to it or how deep it will cleanse. And trust me, I've tried it a couple times and for me, I've tried it on myself, I've tried it on my husband, I've tried it on my sister to see exactly what it does, how deep the clean is, and what I could get away with trying to do. 
So that being said, I'll insert some pictures as I describe what it is. For me, myself, when I did the treatment to myself, it was more like, okay, it's a cleanse, but what is this deep cleanse? So when I went in with it, what you want to do first is clarify and then chelate. So I went in with the Olaplex 4C Clarifying Shampoo. I have a video on that. I love that stuff. Um, I went in, did the clarifying shampoo first. And then after that, I went right in and applied the chelating treatment. And so I just split my hair in four sections because you apply it to wet hair, like dampish wet. Hold on, let me see. Yep, it was like damp more wet hair. That's what it was. Cause it was like, it didn't necessarily give too much. So I applied it to my hair. I did it in four sections just so I could be as clean as possible. Then I let it sit on 15 or 30 minutes. I initially did it without heat on my hair because, you know, testing it out to see how it works best or what works best for me and stuff like that. So after I let it sit, I went, rinsed it out, and then I proceeded to move on to the next set of products would be the Olaplex number four shampoo and the number five conditioner. So after I did that, went in and I did this purposely on a, on a wash day where I felt like I wanted to build strength in my hair. So that's why I went and used the entire like line of Olaplex, including the chelating treatment to see how my hair performed and everything like that. So with that being said, the clarifying shampoo and <laughs> It was brought to my attention by a fellow YouTuber. You may know her as Sheree Del Sol, that <laughs> I needed to explain better when I did my 4C video on the Olaplex clarifying treatment that I should explain a little better <laughs> what I mean by clarifying as a stylist versus what clarifying means to a client or the general consumer. So the clarifying treatment from Olaplex, the 4C shampoo, is great from a stylist perspective because it gets everything out of the hair, you know, surface level that needs to come out. And for me as a stylist and other people that I know that I use it as a stylist, we love how it feels on the hair because it pulls everything out and then it allows our next step to get in there and do exactly what it needs to do. And so to the general consumer, you don't have to clarify as much like and it's hard to describe as a stylist because I really go based on feeling that's always been my thing it's like I can kind of always feel what the hair needs and it's just a skill that you develop over time and you can also learn how to do that with your own hair but you know dealing with so many heads of hair like we kind of learn like with all hair types it's like okay what does this hair need specifically so I know that when it's time for somebody to clarify you know, and typically it's because they aren't going to do everything that I do in the service. So it's like, okay, if I clarify them this time, they aren't going to have to clarify at home. So for the general consumer, you wouldn't be using the 4C every single time that you wash your hair because you don't want to over clarify, pull too much out and then get the dry bill of filling. So what clarifying feels like to you would be different from what it feels to me. So for the, for the general consumer, it is going to feel like, oh my God, it pulled everything out of my hair. But for us, it's great because then it clears your palate so that we can move on to the next step. But then that's where our part comes in where we educate you on, okay, it needs to feel like this. So when you move on to your next step, your hair is going to feel great because then your second shampoo is going to do exactly what it needs to do with no barriers or anything like that. Then your conditioner is going to do exactly what it needs to do. So then you have the perfect wash, wash day to set you up for the perfect style and all that stuff. So that being said, I went in with the 4C shampoo, the chelating treatment, and then I did the number four shampoo, the number five conditioner. And honest to goodness, my hair felt great. Like, I feel like I knew what chelating was and I've actually used products that claim to be chelators as well. And so when I actually got this product and really did research to understand what this one is saying that it does, I went, took the appropriate steps and my hair felt great. It, <laughs> it felt great. And I think it felt so good going through that process because essentially it cleansed 
everything out of my hair that I put into it because myself being a natural, we put all kinds of butters, oils, creams, gels, like it's something that we do. So being able to take all of that out of my hair was actually really, really a good feeling because then when I got into styling, my hair was like real soft and, you know, like that fluffy light feeling that you, it's like you can do anything to your hair. And that's exactly what I did. Like it, it felt great. And so after I tried it on myself, then I tried it on my husband. My husband actually has locks. What I did when I tested this theory, because like I said before, this says that it penetrates to the cortex to cleanse and stuff like that. So there's two reasons that I used it on his locks. One, because essentially when you're retwisting and redoing locks, you know, you're using like beeswax or some kind of gel or something like that, you know, the pomades or something like that, when you're trying to twist the locks to retwist them, that stuff can get caked in and stuff like that, but that's a part of the process when you have locks. So what I did with his treatment is I went clarified like I was supposed to with the 4C shampoo. Then I went in and applied the chelating treatment to his hair so that it cleansed like his hair, his scalp, all that stuff, pulled everything out of his hair. And he has colored tips at the bottom. And his hair is, matter of fact, his hair was mermaid blue and he wanted to just go to a deeper blue in general. So what I did was I used the chelating treatment on the bottom of his hair as well to see how much it would pull out of his hair because it was going to the cortex to pull everything out. And then with my sister, I can insert a picture here too. I actually did that to her hair because she has me change her hair color all the time. So I did the same thing with her, went in, clarified, used the chelating treatment. And again, I'm testing it to see how far it goes or how deep it goes to pull it out. And it's essentially setting it up for the next part that I was doing, which would have been a chemical service because I was actually getting ready to do her hair color over. So with them two being that I tested them in different ways for myself, I have to say it pulled a good amount of the color out. Like it didn't pull everything out, which I ne wasn't necessarily looking for that for them two specifically because I changed her hair color. She had, I'll insert the pictures. She had pink on one side, purple on the other side. And like I said, my husband had mermaid blue on his the bottom of his locks. And then she went from blue on one side, red on the other side. And then he went to a deeper blue. And so I didn't change their colors too much. It was just something that they wanted, you know, when I colored their hair again. So I didn't have to change their hair too much. But when I went to use the chelating treatment to pull it out, it pulled out a good amount of their hair color. So for that purpose, it was actually really nice to use too. Next question that I got was how often, if I need it, how often should I get it? So first to determine if you feel like this is a treatment that you need, I would say if you feel like whenever you wash your hair, it still feels like you can't get everything out or it just feels like, you know, sometimes it can feel heavy, like it's getting weighed down. Every time you wash it, it still feels flat or it feels like you can't, essentially, if you can't hold a curl, when you flat iron your hair, it's flat. And even when you do, like for naturals, if you're doing, you know, certain, certain natural styles and like it's still not essentially hit in a way that you know it normally can, then it might be time to do something like going to a professional and getting a chelating treatment because it's gonna get all the way in there, pull everything out and essentially give you a fresh palette to start with so that you can get the styles that you're trying to achieve. Now, the main thing, and this, <laughs> this is why they made it a professional only service or a professional only treatment is because you are not supposed to do this every time <laughs> that you do wash day. You are not supposed to do this like every week or every couple days. No, not at all. And when you go to the professional that will provide you the service, that needs to be completely explained because even if it's like, oh, okay, I feel like, like you would clarify, they would use good clarifiers, but a chelating treatment, because it penetrates and goes so deep into the hair, you do not need to use that as often. Um, Olaplex specifically told us 
every four to six weeks. So depending on how often you visit the salon and what services you're there to get, you can do what they recommended was every four to six weeks, but no more than once a month. So if you hit that fourth week mark, like it's preferably once a month. So, you know, that kind of stretches out because, you know, four weeks, 28 days versus, you know, okay, maybe we'll do the once a month. So it's like 30, 31 days, you know, depending on the month. But even going to six weeks, depending on your hair. So again, being that professionals can kind of feel what the hair needs and what it's time for, then they could kind of make that determination for you so that you're essentially not pulling everything out of your hair every time you do something to your hair. And then it's like, my hair is dry and brittle and I don't know how to put anything back in it because essentially you've done too much chelation. And then I also wanted to bring it because I am talking about Olaplex. I did want to talk about other brands that have chelating products. Some of the brands that have products that are chelating products is Living Proof, their triple detox shampoo. And that I've actually used before. I actually liked that one too. I think when I first used it, I didn't realize like how deep it was cleansing, but I ended up liking that one. And for me, I've explained in other videos in the past, like I am a two shampoo stylist, two shampoo person for myself. First one for me is gonna be clarifying. Second one is going to be the regular shampoo depending on what my hair needs. So with this one, I initially thought it was just a regular like clarifying shampoo. And so, and this was a couple years ago that I used it. It felt, you know, like it was doing what it was supposed to do. Then I read afterwards, I was like, oh, it cleansed really deep. Then I just went in, used the moisturizing shampoo, which typically with most of the chelating, uh, other chelating products, they want you to go in with moisturizing shampoo and conditioner to put that moisture back in your hair. So the Live and Proof one, I've actually tried before. Malibu C has their products, which a lot of their products is catered to pulling everything out just so it makes it easier for the stylist to go into the next phase of your service. They do have, you know, stuff that the general consumer can buy, but there's stuff that stylists buy specifically to do a chelation process as well. Joyco has their K-Pack chelating shampoo, which I've tried that simply because I like Joyco products in general. And I feel like it cleans pretty deep as well. And then Redken also has their hair cleansing cream detox shampoo. I have not tried that one, but I've heard good things about it. So there's some that I've tried. There's some that I haven't tried, but the two that I did try, I felt like they did do pretty well as far as the cleansing and clarifying process, but I do not remember that either one of those cleansed as deep as the Olaplex one. And Olaplex is good for their products, you know, with their bond building technology. I'll just insert the word because I'm not even gonna try and trip myself on saying it. I know what it is, but I I know I know me. So I'm gonna just insert the word so you can see it. <laughs> Like I said, I don't feel like other ones necessarily cleanse as deep as this one has for me. And I still want to experiment, try it, and honestly, probably buy some of the other ones again and see how close it gets to how it feels. Because now that I have this one, maybe do a side-by-side -side comparison, stuff like that. If you want to see something like that, let me know in the comments below. Another question that I received, because in the natural hair community specifically, and I mean, in the hair community in general, but when I first really seen it kind of like hit the masses was in the natural hair community. The idea of using apple cider vinegar and apple cider vinegar with the Aztec clay mask to deeply cleanse and stuff like that. And so what the main thing about apple cider vinegar is that it is acidic, but it's very mild. So it's just enough to balance the pH of the hair and the scalp, but not strip it as deep as some of the chelating treatments that are available. Now that I think about it, I'd have to see about Joyco, but the Living Proof one is available to the public. So maybe that's why it doesn't clean as deep as the Olaplex one. If anything, I'll put it in the description box down below if I found out that, or pin a comment if I found out 
if the Joyco one is available to the public because I cannot remember, but I do not think it is. But that might be why the Living Proof one doesn't cleanse as deep because this is a process that you don't want to have your clients doing every day or every other day because some people are still realizing that they don't have to wash their hair every day. And that's sometimes the reason why they're ending up with hair that they feel like is too dry and brittle and stuff like that. And they feel like they can't put moisture in it. So, like I said, I want to try and do a side-by-side -side comparison of those. With all of that being said, if you feel like you want to try it, I would say speak to your stylist, speak to a, a professional. If you don't have a st stylist necessarily, see if they offer the service. They might offer the Olaplex one. They might have other ones. And you know, just go in and ask questions. See if it's something that you feel like you might need or is it necessary for your hair? Just in general, trying to see what your hair needs and doing what's best for your hair. And like I said, ask the questions so that they inform you. You know, you want to know what is going to make your hair better. So ask the questions, like try and educate yourself as much as possible because you want stuff to work. Like you want to, you know, you essentially want to make your hair better. And my biggest advice for anybody, like essentially, because, you know, I'm only one person, I'm not doing everybody's hair. The thing is, is, you know, to build a relationship with the stylist, ask the questions. You know, if you want to learn to trust the stylist, you know, ask the questions that you need to ask in order to make yourself feel safe and comfortable enough to have them do your service. Or even if it's just the one service, you go home and do everything else. Or if you start to build a relationship with them and have that be the stylist that you always go to, ask questions. Because if you feel like you aren't comfortable with their answers or you know, you just not vibing with them in that way, move on to the next one. You know, get on the internet, kind of search whatever you need to search so that you're comfortable so that you can feel like okay if i need this treatment i know this person is gonna have my hair's best interest at heart just keep yourself as comfortable as possible so all that being said if you have any questions leave them in the comments below because i know i went over a whole lot of information if you like this video please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and make sure to turn on the notifications so you see every time I post an upload. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.